<laughs> so Jen, I'm here in the Townsend Hotel, which is in Birmingham, and one of the famous restaurants in the Townsend Hotel is the Rugby Grill. And with me right now, I have executive chef from the Townsend Hotel, Hai Ying, who's going to be walking me through some of the amazing dishes she gets to make and give people like us the best gastronomical experience. <laughs> so, chef, first of all, I have to say, can you just walk me through some of these dishes? Because I'm looking at it and I don't want to talk, I just want to eat. Oh, thank you so much <laughs> and thank you for having us. And um, I think we, uh, for the, the restaurant week, we do have a, a different, two different menus to offer. Three courses for uh, uh, brunch and three courses for dinner. Okay. And also at the same time, we do have a regular daily menu offer. And the time is January 24 to 28, Monday to Friday. And January the 31st to February 4th, and also Monday to Friday. So um, we have some uh, dishes here. So and, and these dishes, by the way, so you, these are only exclusive for the restaurant, restaurant week, week, right? Yeah, for restaurant week okay, only. Okay, gotcha. So what, what, are we, what are we starting off with first? So we're starting off with, so uh, I'm demoing a, a prime cut um, frame steak. Okay. Or the skirt steak, I'm sorry. Yeah, skirt steak. So we marinate that with a little lightly uh, with the uh, chimichurri, oh, uh, grape seed oil, uh, um, uh, salt and pepper. And is that the, then, is that the steak right there? Or? Yeah, that's the steak right here. Okay. So with the camera magic. Oh, look at this. I mean, this is just perfect. <laughs> with the camera magic. So I would so I kind of recommend uh, yeah. anybody if it's at home, they're doing that at home. You buy your um, uh, prime cuts of meat, whatever you like, or different, could it be filet, uh, ribeye, uh, New York strip, anything. Leave a room temperature. After you buy it from a grocery store, leave a room temperature for about half hour. Then season with the, whatever the seasoning you want. So that's and the, mark it off. That's the, the trick right there. You gotta leave it at the room temperature. Yeah, leave it. Because yes. I, I can never get a steak looking like that. And the way that you leave it, the, the trick is to leave it at room temperature. Yeah. By the time you cook it in the oven, they yeah. cook through the, the steak evenly. Ah. And all the, the steak will be less tough, will be more nice and moist. Gotcha, gotcha. Yes. Okay, more so juicy. Once, once we yes. get the steak like that, I'm, I'm assuming that's what it yeah, that's, comes out to be. Yeah, so that's chop the. Chop it and slice it into. Yes, yeah, slice it into the. Okay. Yes. And plus, if a, 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 what is a skirt steak, the grain is like kind of torch this side. The trick is if you're slicing it, okay. you try to slice it against the grain. So, ah. yeah, so it will last tough. Okay, because yes. I would just go straight right out, but you're going yes. at diagonally, you're going at an yes. angle over there. Okay. But again, we use every, all the cuts of prime cut in a rugby grill, yeah. and also everything we do, uh, we have dry age, ragu, uh, we have our prime. Okay, and so chef, just because we're running out of time, I just want to quickly go yes. over, so we got steak here. What is this right here? It's a ziti pasta, we think okay. with a fresh mozzarella cheese. It's tossed into a basil and spinach, and uh, with our homemade roast tomato sauce, and um, uh, salmon with a, mash, uh, a sweet mashed potato with a little uh, uh, spring vegetable, I mean, uh, sorry, a little uh, baby vegetable. Gotcha. Yes. And then what's this right there? Uh, so that's just a Kentucky um, a hot brown, which is like uh, turkey sandwiches. And with the uh, bechamel on the top and bacon and little uh, garnish of green. I just, and a mushroom. Yes, I, I mushroom love soup. it. I love all of them. I am going to try it as soon as I throw it back to Jen because I don't want Jen to look at me eating because otherwise she'd be like, she'll leave her job and she'll come and meet me at Birmingham. But Jen, you need to finish the show, all right? I need to go back at this and I need to tackle this. I'm now Back to you, Jen. I'm now looking at the <laughs> clock for Oz and I loved all those vegan desserts, but the meat eater in me, frankly, is living for that steak. Something tells me you're going to have a real Really good lunch today. 